The conflict between Israel and Hamas is a complex and deeply rooted issue, spanning several decades and involving multiple facets of political, social and historical significance. It's characterized by territorial disputes, political ideologies and security concerns, with both sides holding deeply entrenched positions that make resolution challenging. Hamas, designated as a terrorist organization by many countries, controls the Gaza Strip. It has a significant influence over the region and its people, often clashing with Israeli forces. It aims to establish an independent Palestinian state, free from Israeli control, and has garnered support from various factions within the Palestinian territories. Israel, on the other hand, views Hamas as an existential threat, citing the group's refusal to recognize Israel's right to exist and its history of launching attacks against Israeli civilians. This conflict has resulted in numerous wars and violent clashes causing significant casualties and displacement. The humanitarian impact has been devastating with countless lives lost and communities torn apart. The situation escalated dramatically in October 2023, leading to a surge in violence. This recent flare-up has seen an increase in rocket attacks, airstrikes and ground operations further exacerbating the already dire situation. This escalation has drawn regional actors like Hezbollah and Iran into the conflict, raising concerns about a wider war. The involvement of these groups adds another layer of complexity, as their interests and alliances could potentially lead to a broader regional conflict. Hezbollah, meaning Party of God in Arabic, is a powerful Shiite Muslim political party and militant group based in Lebanon. It was founded in 1982 during the Lebanese Civil War. Hezbollah received significant financial and military support from Iran, making it a key player in Iran's regional strategy. Hezbollah's primary objective is the destruction of Israel, which it views as an illegitimate state. It has a long history of conflict with Israel, engaging in numerous cross-border attacks and kidnappings. Hezbollah's vast arsenal of rockets and missiles poses a significant threat to Israel's security. Iran, a Shiite Muslim theocracy, plays a multifaceted role in the Israel-Hamas conflict. It provides substantial financial, military and logistical support to both Hezbollah and Hamas. Iran's backing enables these groups to sustain their operations and challenge Israel. Iran's motives are complex. It views Israel as a threat to its regional ambitions and seeks to undermine its security. By supporting groups like Hezbollah and Hamas, Iran aims to exert pressure on Israel and project its influence in the region. Iran's ultimate goal is to establish itself as the dominant power in the Middle East. The escalation in October 2023 marked a significant turning point in the conflict. Hamas launched a surprise attack on Israel, firing thousands of rockets and infiltrating its borders. This attack, unprecedented in its scale and ferocity, caught Israel off guard and prompted a swift and devastating response. Israel launched a massive aerial bombardment of Gaza, targeting Hamas military infrastructure as well as residential areas. The ensuing fighting resulted in a heavy death toll on both sides, with thousands killed and injured. The conflict also displaced hundreds of thousands of Palestinians, creating a humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Section 5. Hezbollah's Cross-Border Raids Hezbollah, emboldened by Hamas's offensive, stepped up its activities on Israel's northern border. It launched rockets and anti-tank missiles at Israeli military positions and civilian communities. These attacks, while limited in scope, demonstrated Hezbollah's willingness to engage in direct conflict with Israel. Hezbollah's actions were seen as a calculated attempt to divert Israeli resources and relieve pressure on Hamas in Gaza. By opening a second front, Hezbollah aimed to stretch Israel's military capabilities and create a dilemma for its leadership. However, Israel responded forcefully to Hezbollah's provocations, striking targets in Lebanon and reinforcing its northern border. Section 6. Iran's Proxy War Strategy Iran's involvement in the conflict primarily takes the form of proxy warfare. This strategy allows Iran to exert influence and pursue its objectives without directly engaging in a full-blown war with Israel. Iran provides its proxies with funding, weapons, training and intelligence. Iran's support for Hezbollah and Hamas is part of its broader strategy to counter American influence in the Middle East. 
By supporting groups that oppose Israel, Iran aims to undermine American allies and weaken its position in the region. Iran's proxy war strategy allows it to exert influence disproportionate to its military capabilities. Section 7. The Risk of Regional Conflagration The involvement of Hezbollah and Iran in the Israel-Hamas conflict raises the spectre of a wider regional war. This conflict is not isolated, it has the potential to draw in various factions and nations, each with their own interests and alliances. The interconnectedness of regional alliances and the volatile nature of the Middle East make it susceptible to escalation. Countries like Saudi Arabia, Turkey and Egypt could find themselves entangled in the conflict, either through direct involvement or by supporting different sides. Any miscalculation or escalation could ignite a conflagration with devastating consequences. The urban areas, already fragile, could become battlegrounds leading to widespread destruction and loss of life. A regional war would have far-reaching implications, drawing in multiple countries and potentially destabilizing the entire Middle East. The involvement of global powers like the United States and Russia could further complicate the situation, making it a proxy battleground for larger geopolitical struggles. The humanitarian cost would be immense, with millions of people displaced and countless lives lost. Refugee camps would swell, and the strain on resources would be overwhelming, leading to a humanitarian crisis of unprecedented scale. The global economy would also be severely impacted as oil prices skyrocket and trade routes are disrupted. The ripple effects would be felt worldwide, affecting everything from stock markets to everyday consumer goods, highlighting the interconnected nature of our global economy. Section 8. Diplomatic Efforts and Uncertain Outcomes International diplomatic efforts are underway to de-escalate the conflict and find a peaceful resolution. The United States, European Union and regional powers like Egypt and Jordan are engaged in shuttle diplomacy, urging restraint and a ceasefire. However, reaching a lasting solution remains elusive. The deep-seated mistrust between the parties, coupled with their conflicting objectives, makes negotiations extremely challenging. Hamas demands an end to the Israeli blockade of Gaza and the recognition of a Palestinian state. Israel, on the other hand, insists on Hamas's disarmament and recognition of its right to exist. Section 9. The Human Cost of Conflict The ongoing conflict continues to inflict a heavy toll on civilians on both sides. Indiscriminate rocket fire from Gaza has killed and injured Israeli civilians, while Israeli airstrikes have caused widespread destruction and displacement in Gaza. The humanitarian situation in Gaza is particularly dire. The blockade of Gaza has crippled its economy, leaving its population struggling to access basic necessities like food, water and medicine. The constant fear of violence and the lack of opportunities have taken a heavy psychological toll on the Palestinian population. Section 10, a looming shadow over the Middle East. The Israel-Hamas conflict, fueled by the involvement of Hezbollah and Iran, casts a long shadow over the Middle East. This conflict is not just a localized issue, but a significant geopolitical concern that affects the entire region and beyond. It is a constant source of instability and a reminder of the deep divisions that plague the region. The unrest in Gaza, the military presence in various conflict zones and the frequent protests are all symptoms of a deeper, more entrenched problem. The conflict also highlights the challenges of resolving long-standing conflicts with complex historical and ideological roots. These roots run deep, tracing back to decades of territorial disputes, religious differences and political power struggles. Until a just and lasting solution is found, the cycle of violence is likely to continue with devastating consequences for all involved. The aftermath of bombings, the sight of injured civilians and the ongoing violence serve as stark reminders of the human cost of this conflict. The international community must work together to find a peaceful resolution that addresses the legitimate grievances of all parties and creates a more secure and prosperous future for the region. Diplomatic efforts, peace talks and international cooperation are crucial in this endeavor. Only through a concerted and unified effort can we hope to bring about lasting peace and stability in the Middle East.